Introducing the new Eplog Pulse, a print application compatible with nearly any operating system, enabling you to print directly to the laser from your Apple device, tablet, or even your phone. Let's explore some of the features of the Epilogue Pulse software. Start by finding your IP address on your laser machine. This can be found on your laser machine by pressing the settings icon. The Epilogue Pulse print application will open in the browser. No internet connection is necessary to make this work, and there is no cloud connection. This is a standalone application that drives your laser machine. Next, open a web browser and type in the IP address. The user interface of the Epilogue Pulse web application is comprised of three main sections, the toolbar, artwork area, and sidebar. The toolbar houses controls for file downloading, canvas control, artwork control, and settings. The first button in the toolbar is to open a document, which clears the document and adds the file contents to the artwork area. This can be an SVG, GIF, BMP, JPEG, PNG, or TIFF file. SVG is the most commonly used with the Epilog Pulse because it includes the vector line items within the file, which you use for laser cutting. The file auto-generates processes based on hairlines to be cut and filled graphics. And a hairline equals any vector outline under four thousandths of an inch. To add another file to your currently opened file, click the plus icon. One thing to note here is if you have text in your graphic, it'll need to be saved with text as outlines before using Eblog Pulse. Clicking the Save Toolbar icon will trigger a download of the .epi file that can be used again later. EPI files contain the artwork area as an SVG and all processes and job information. Undo allows you to undo the last action such as removing the fish from our graphic. Next is the redo button. You can also zoom in and out of the graphic, mirror the image, rotate the image, and invert the image. Clicking the camera icon will toggle the camera at the laser on and off. The settings icon allows you to set units, rotary attachment settings, and center point alignment. The help button will send a diagnostic report about the web application to Epilogue if you experience a problem. At the top right corner of the screen, you'll see the machine status, which lists the machine's configuration as well as a green or red icon representing the connection status. On the right side of the screen is where you can find the process settings. At the top of the sidebar, you can turn on and off autofocus. You can set this by using the plunger at the machine or by typing in the material thickness. The file will automatically be put in one of two processes, engrave for fill items, or cut for vector lines under four thousandths of an inch. These items will also be turned pink on screen to make them easily identifiable. Vector lines of any thickness can also be turned into cut lines, but only hairlines will automatically change into cut lines. Below this, you'll see each of the processes. Clicking on the engrave process, we can see the settings for speed, power, resolution, dithering, engraving direction, precision sync, unidirectional engraving, cycles, and an offset for focus. You can also split or merge this process with another. We could split this graphic by color, moving the red text to a separate process, or merge these back together. Let's set our engraving settings to 50% speed, 100% power. We'll leave the resolution at 500 dpi and set the engraving direction to up. Clicking on the cut process, 
You can see the settings for speed, power, frequency, the number of cycles, and an offset for focus. We can also split or merge this layer. Let's set our cutting settings to 20% speed and 100% power. At the top of each of these processes, you can click on the header and choose engrave, cut, or turn off the process so it is not run at the laser. When a file is added to the artwork area, all elements will be grouped. To ungroup them, you can right click on the image and choose ungroup to move them on the page. You can now select each individual element and select the plus icon in the sidebar to create a new process from the individual item. You can also use several keyboard shortcuts when working with your image, including nudging the selection using the arrow keys, grabbing the canvas by clicking the spacebar and clicking the left mouse button, delete the selection by clicking backspace or delete, and copy or paste using Ctrl and C or V. Now that we have everything set up and aligned correctly, we'll print the file to the laser by clicking the send button.